Hello, my name is Raj Prasad. I'm one of the liver surgeons here in Leeds. Welcome to the Enhanced Recovery Program video, which uh, explains to you the principles involved with this program. You might have heard about this program when you were discussing your upcoming liver surgery with your doctors and nurses. Enhanced Recovery starts before you come into the hospital when you look at this video and understand the principles and what you are likely to go through when you get admitted at St. James's University Hospital for your liver surgery. The main principle of enhanced recovery is you taking control of your own recovery and uh, this enables you to get better, safer and quicker than what is the normal standard of care. The main principles of enhanced recovery involve mobilizing earlier, eating and drinking earlier and us providing you very good pain relief with newer techniques and technology that allows mobilization quicker. Over the following segments in the video, you will understand the principles of enhanced recovery in more detail and I hope you will be able to implement this when you come and get your operation at uh, Leeds with us. After a decision has been made to go ahead with your operation, we will see you here at the surgical outpatient department. Here you'll talk to a surgeon about your options. It's at this point that we will tell you that you will be placed into the enhanced recovery program. We will also invite you to attend a patient session called the Patient Recovery Education Program or PrEP. This will be at a later date. If you wish to come to this, we will talk to you about how to prepare yourself before and after your surgery. As part of your treatment, you will be asked to attend a pre-op assessment appointment. At the appointment, we will undertake an assessment of your general health and ensure that you are fit for your anaesthetic and procedure. We will also check your blood pressure, take blood samples and an ECG if it is required and we will do your MRSA screening. As you are now part of the Enhanced Recovery Programme, we will give you six small bottles of the pre-op drink. We ask that you take four of these bottles the evening before your surgery and then you will fast. On the morning of your operation, we will ask that you take the other two bottles of the pre-op drink. When you are admitted into hospital, please bring with you your overnight things, your medication and of course the Enhanced Recovery Patient Diary. On the morning of your surgery, when you arrive on the same day admissions unit, we will ensure that you have fasted the night before and that you have all your pre-op drinks as instructed. A significant part of the Enhanced Recovery Programme is warming patients before their operation. One hour before your surgery, you'll wear a warming gown to make sure that you have the right body temperature and that you feel warm and comfortable. Enhanced Recovery Programme is about employing new techniques in anaesthesia and surgery that promote better outcome. There is strong evidence to suggest that patients have fewer complications, discharge quicker by improving the way we do things in theatre. Moving around after your surgery plays an important part in your recovery and this starts on the first day after your operation. If it's safe and you feel well enough to do so, our physiotherapy and nursing staff will help you get out of bed and go for a short walk. Don't worry about drips and drains, we will help you with them. Once you are on the ward and able to do so, we will encourage you to walk by yourself regularly. Recording in your diary how far and how often you walk will help you keep track of your progress. Each day that you're able to do a little bit more helps to build up the strength to as you were before your surgery. When you have major abdominal surgery, you need to expect to have some pain. You will either have an epidural, a wound catheter infusion or a patient controlled analgesia system. During your recovery on the ward, a team of pain specialist nurses will make sure that you get enough pain relief to ensure that you're able to move around, deep breathe and cough relatively comfortably. While recovering on the ward, we will make sure that you continue to do your daily breathing and leg exercises. Using an incentive spirometer as part of your daily routine can help to expand your lung muscles and prevent chest infections. Don't worry, we'll show you how to use this. Remember, carry on doing your daily leg exercises is easy will prevent deep vein thrombosis or DVT. We will be there every day to remind you to fill in your diaries and to help get you up and moving. 
On the third or fourth day after your operation, we will start planning for your discharge. We will not discharge you from the hospital unless you are fit to do so and the doctors are happy for you to go. We make sure that you get home as safely as possible. We will also make follow-up phone calls to see how you are coping at home. A big part of the Enhanced Recovery Programme is your control over your own recovery. Start calling it My Recovery from now on. And if you follow the principles outlined in this video, we can help you get better quicker and safely. For more information about the Enhanced Recovery Programme, please get in touch with us.